Hi, I'm Max Chapman and check out my new course for Fader Pro where I show you how I remix a track. In this course, I'm gonna show you how to make hypnotic drum grooves, how to use simple techniques in arrangement but get a professional finished product, and I'm gonna show you how to turn simple bass lines into melodic grooves. We're gonna look at remix parts in the pack. We're gonna find out the key of those and we're gonna start working melodic stuff around them. I find that a very important part of my doing a remix, so that's where we're gonna start. One of the other things we're gonna cover is the importance of tuning drums. I'm gonna show you how once we've worked out the key of everything we're using, we can go back and quite easily in seconds tune the drums to what we've done. The reason I wanted to use a bit of chords and stuff today and make it a little bit more deep house was because tech house can be extremely boring. Like you can, you can get a bass line in and there can be absolutely no melodic elements and it kind of just builds up, comes up down again, builds up. I wanted to invest in it a little bit more. If it was two or three years ago, it would have been kick, drums, bass line, and, all my, and all pretty much arrangement after that. And then I would add stuff after. Most of the time I would go into a soft synth and just play loads of synths until something actually sounded all right, but they probably never sounded great. It's just like that'll do, because you want to get another element in. That's why today I wanted to have some musical input. And that's why I spent so much time finding what worked with the pads and the chords and things like that. I think you should buy my course because I can just prove to you that simplicity is always key and you'll just realise how basic some of the things I do are, but how professional the final product is.